We are live, and let me refresh. Make sure we are good to go. Make sure you can see us. Make sure you can hear us. We are live. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. No echo. Everything looks good. It's good to be back. Did it feel weird without us? Yes or no? <laughs> In the chat. Maybe not, because you've been busy shipping. You've been right, busy right. with Thanksgiving and... All spending of that. time with friends and family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever that is. <laughs> Doing all that. Um, <laughs> uh, let me see who's here. And then we'll continue. We got a lot of more news than anything. Like news yeah. updates. Yeah, we're about to be uh, the Hustler Hacks news channel. New, <laughs> uh, fake news. Jimmy, the man misinformation in hand. William Perry, swoop man. Deborah Fanatic. Manny Fresh, Hustle Crow, my boy Maximo, D Bay, One Kick Finder, Brian, whatever one sourcing wasn't too bad today. My boy's out there, he's ready. Brown Town Finds, Rashard, Fat New put up four wins in a row. Fins up. Wow, for real. Uh, <laughs> like Anthony Legs, Austin, Funky Finds, Big Money Mo. 1890 Price Assassins, Josh Leva, Trackstar, Sneaker Pickers, William Perry, Kevin Pacers, DB, Ross Shellington on his lunch break. Uh, let's see, Fly Kicks, A Will, Southtown Finds, Julian, Mr. Sports LA, what's up? Retrospective Gear. Aesthetic and Kaiser and Jason and SA Fly Kicks starting to sell them jackets every day now. All right, so we're going to start off with sales. Usually this gets mixed in there, not today. How are your sales? What has been working for you? Uh, Amazon, eBay, StockX. StockX trying to do some other things like, hey, Half off fees if you sell everything right now. Oh, that's not, that's not going to work. sell everything. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. We're holding on to stuff. We want premium dollar. Top dollar. Uh, GOAT has been well, though. Well, man, man, it's December. We haven't addressed that. That's true. It's the December last 1st. month of the year. Yes, and, sir. You know, just wrap up last month, so... Talk about performance, right? We always like to go in uh, the numbers percentage. So let's pull that up. <laughs> uh, last month, um, I was up compared to same month last year. How many percent? Because we always want to be 9.8% better than last year. Okay. So I consider that a win, right? You got some growth. Growth, right? That's what we want. The green percentage. So um uh that's that's what we strive for, given the fact that we don't have that much uh footwear this year because of the supply issue, but uh which is good still that you know we can come up well in the difference in clothing and all other stuff that we're trying to sell. So we're gonna talk about sneaker stuff and getting into that that news to see what's going on there. Big money mo goat. 10k pending all oh. last all past week shipping every day. Nice. Um, here's a question: Any anybody gonna give gift cards or anything to like uh, USPS people that see you every day? I was thinking um, about. It. I was like, what should I give them? Or automatically? Um. Well, the the other the other cool factor is you gotta notice people so that you can give them something that they actually like. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Because you anybody can give random gift cards true but it takes that special person that this guy loves the ice cream shop this guy likes the uh, coffee shop. okay so i think that's the that's one tip that that they would truly appreciate that you're actually caring about them as a person than just a regular dude so, essay <laughs> yeah. says nope you get nothing and like it um, that's part of their job. You scan all those pa all those packages, right? Or you could just take. Do you do the like the whole sheet? Yeah. So I do the. Uh, okay. They trust me that um, they just do the scan sheet, uh, mm. the box shipping uh, scan form. 
Um, and I've had it had issue and it's been over a year since we've been doing it. So I haven't had issues. Oh, okay. Um, lucky and three legs. You know what they all like cold, hard cash. Um, uh, <laughs> the drivers, I don't get to reward the drivers a lot because I don't get to see them. You know, okay. I, I don't, I, I don't have that interaction. I don't know. Cause you know, like you see this kind of like there's fairy tale, uh, fairy tale stories that the driver kind of like get to know the kids and everything. I was like, man, these drivers are relaxed. They have a really relaxed route. My drivers are like running all the time, dumping package, and then they're out. I can't even say thank you to them. <laughs> they're so, quick. They got, they got stuff to do. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, let me see. There's some good comments in here. Sneaker pickers, sneaker stores, Nike orders getting canceled. We're going to talk about that. Uh, Miles, what up? And Palma took donuts to my UPS people day before Thanksgiving. Donuts gets them every time. Donuts gets them every time for real. I mean, that simple snack, man. That that round, soft, and sweet <laughs> snack just reminds them of you. <laughs> every time they take a bite, it reminds them of who they gave it to them. <laughs> and then they're gonna start January like, oh man, New Year's, I'm gonna get in shape. Yeah. Don't bring me any more donuts. Yeah, yeah. That's where we'll you start that. bring them fruits. Oh, uh, yeah. And then they definitely won't be eating that. Um, all right. So sales, they're good. They're, it's that time of the year. We're shipping every day. Like we, I mean, we're shipping every day with all the time. But now it's a lot more orders. Get everything set. Mm -hmm. So I like this. Let's see. Let's just get everything out and start next year with a bunch of capital ready to go. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get into these are small updates. Jordan 1 OG Heritage, what did you think? These are the first, I guess, photos that came out uh recently. Man, I feel like they're just copying the Dunks colorway right now or something. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, what am I sound bites? I think they froze. It's because all the Jake ones. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try this again. Um, they're loading up. Let me see what the chat says about them. Uh, yeah. Miles, eh. Black and white, I'm copying. Um, any Jordan ones? Do you think it's about that time that we're... I know we talked about before that we're losing it a little bit, but... Right. Maybe just in nothing that nothing that special? No, not that special. I mean... Is that we're down this, to now? Yeah. If this was mids, this, was good, this will sell out. True. Pass. Those are nice. Looks like a mid colorway. They're doing anything. Yeah. Jordan ones. The yeah. plug. What's up? Yeah, this year it sounds like it's the Jordan one year, because because there's so many ones that's still about to come out. What like four Jordan ones? That yeah, Jordan hand, ones. Even the lows too. I know there was a stitch, red low whatever. coming out. Yeah, it's like man, so many. This is Sports LA. I'm getting those mids and lows. Getting fire colors. Fire and fire. All right, let me see where my sound bites at. Let me see. Get at it. That's good. Okay, there we go. They're a little yeah. low. Okay. Uh, next, Union Dunk Low. Did you care? Man, or not care? They could do better. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> what do you, what do you expect from like... these guys? Huh? What What do you expect from these guys? What do, What do you want them to do? I mean, like, the Jordan 4 Union wasn't bad. It had color. This one is, like, literally, like, let's all move, make everything look gray. Like a blueprint kind of looking thing. Yeah, man. <laughs> it looks like uh, leftover, uh, you know, leftover materials from, like, uh, you know, from a screen or something. Uh, let me see what the chat says. Union could do better. S.A. Uh, Wood Cop. Vintage Profit. SA says Union 2's trash. Uh, skyrocket prices. So I don't even know when this is supposed to come out. 2022. That's all we know. Okay. Next. Now we're on to real news. These are just quick updates. So how shocked were you seeing the news? Man, I was I was like, what? Like that's you know, like I was like, I saw it on Twitter and I was like, RIP, rest in peace. I'm like. And then you know, cause like this dude's young, healthy, right? Looks healthy, um, and you know, like 
he's busy with doing work, right? Like uh, the Jordan to Off White just he came kept out. on, kept the grind. Kept I mean, grinding, right? There's still more stuff going around, like the Air Force, you know, like the Air Force One Dookie that we, you know, we made fun of the Air Force One High or Mids, whatever that was. So he still had some, you know, gigs going on, but you know, and then I saw. I saw it. It was, you know, some aggressive form of cancer, and it's had it for two years. So, um, yeah, that's you know, sticker flip fine. That's what I said. Like, you know, he did it kind of like the Chadwick way. You know, just grinded and, you know, just kept it personal. Uh, and for me, you know, I kind of like appreciate those kind of moves, especially because you're kind of like really big, you know, celebrity and stuff like that. That, that I mean, it could definitely bring you down if you put put that out there, but but what he's put out during this last two years has still been, you know, grind in the work, the art that he's trying to create. And all these things that I've been reading about him is just, you know, he's just been a pioneer overall, right? In the design world, in the sneaker world. On um, whether whether you like what he did or not, he created something different. So yeah. I think that's what I appreciated the most. Yeah. And I think um I don't know. I mean there's just like we me and you had talked about it too just kind of like if you do put that out there you know and some people want to keep things private it's just them their yeah. family they're the ones that know yeah. and i mean i respect either way it's 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 your life and how you want to do it and how you want to tell people or not tell people right. i know there's there's different people that don't want to have like people feeling bad for them yeah. or uh-huh. treating them differently now yeah. because uh-huh. they know they know of certain news and there's people that are you know what like i want to go out on top and have everybody re- remember me from what i've done and what i'm doing and maybe not you know see me in a certain way or something so right you know it's it's different totally different thing so um i don't know and i'm, I'm pretty sure I mean, this is, yeah, I think it's like a rare form of cancer, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I think I'm pretty sure all of us know somebody has had cancer or died from right. cancer. My grandpa died of cancer. It's just, it's, oh, man, this is a totally different beast. Um, and so let me see what the chat says here. Uh, makes you appreciate him much more knowing what he did, going through the battle. That yep. fanatic. Uh, thankful for his touch for the sneaker world to legit. I uh, didn't even know he was from Rockford. Interesting. William yeah, Perry. Illinois. He's from Illinois. Yeah. Uh, true. I don't like telling people I'm, when I'm sick because they stress me out. Big money mo. <laughs> uh, let me see. Off white to the moon. Cutthroat. Uh, so sad. We love them all. Let me see. Uh, rest in peace, just like Chadwick. Um, Off white to the moon again. Aesthetic. And so yeah, man, that was crazy. I think it was on Sunday, right? Um, yeah. I remember seeing the news, so man. Um, and I think he has wasn't there stuff something coming out like a new collab that was coming out recently, yeah, though, right? Yeah, there was, yeah. Oh, that is still gonna come out, I believe. Yeah, I think the Air Force One is still uh slated to come out. But but not Nike. Um oh the LV? Yeah, the LV. Yeah. I think they yeah, did like I a tribute and everything. Miami, right? yeah, the that Miami thing that they did. Yeah. All right, next. So this is the first set of news that are kind of going to, we're going to take a while on these news sections because we didn't have a show on Monday and I feel like a lot happened since last time we did a live. Um, So first off, limiting online Air Force One sales. Um, I think this was from Militia Kicks uh, that, that was on there about you've exceeded the quantity limit on your Nike.com orders. And we've seen this too, foot action, foot locker, a lot of people buying, of course, Air Force One Lows, the yeah. triple white. It's like the TikTok shoe everybody wants. Yeah. I've seen people, we have a shoe store at the mall and uh, they were telling me, you know, people from a uh, foot locker, foot action that like, yeah, they'll buy them here and then they'll go sell them for like, or try to sell them 125, 135, 140, you yeah. know, across stores from the mall and people are like what why are they so much of course trying to get their their cut uh-huh. and so i feel like nike is like well this is just supposed to be a super gr open to everybody <laughs> yeah and seeing how many orders are there but uh let me see man 20 bucks maximum 
Oh, got to hit the Nike outlets in my area because of big money mo interview. Uh, thanks, Glenn. But the perspective of people who see the opportunity in this country, fire and B, always catching the replay. Maximo, thank you for that. He's a kind, kind man. Twenty dollars on the super chat. Uh, Cook groups punching the air so hard right now. Says big <laughs> money mo. Well, we're gonna get into the other set of news, which that hasn't even really been confirmed. We'll mm-hmm. talk about it regarding bots. Uh, only Nike site, not other sites. Patrick, exactly. Well, um, if I'm Nike buying New Balance. Doing it, if Nike starts doing it, then I think Nike's gonna enforce that limit or stiff arm everybody to do it. Well, here's the thing, though. Nike, that's you know what? I just keep going because that has to do with our other news. Right. Right. Yeah, and how much control uh, Nike is getting? <laughs> Uh, if they can't stop people from getting hype at one per person, how they're going to stop Air Force One in bulk? No. I mean, you'll find a way. Yeah. Bot or non-bot, you'll find a way. Yeah. Um, people think they can flip basic Air Force One. And I've seen, that's the thing that was like a lot of people at the mall were, were really mad at that store. Like, why are you trying to flip these for this much? Like, they're not even a, a yeah. hype shoe and things like that. And so a lot of them were sitting there. Um, and some people would just go to foot action or foot lock and be like, Hey, can I just get the same shoe? They're like, why are they so much over there? I don't know. Yeah. We have them here in stock. You're right. So, all right. Which leads to this news, which I think it was kind of blown out of proportion on IG and everything like that. So you know, it's a ban bot fueled online shopping. So, They first introduced this Stopping Grinch Bots Act um, in 2019, but it did not go through. And so now they are trying to bring it back. uh, I guess the thing that they're trying to say here, Nintendo Switch, PS5, some things like that, that people are, you know, fighting each other for these items and paying double the triple amount of prices that they shouldn't be. There shouldn't be bots picking up anything on any sites, shoes, clothing, anything that's limited. They're trying to do this for every website, not just gaming or sneakers or anything. Um, But will it go through? I don't know. Like I said, it did not go through in 2019. And I know a lot of the, of course, IG and people looking to spark up some interest are like, man, they're going to ban bots and nothing has been finalized. They're just reintroducing it and hoping that it does get finalized. We don't know if it will. Uh, everyone feels like they deserve to win at no compete, vintage profit, pay resale or go home. <laughs> SA. Uh, if they banned bots, uh, regular folk would still be shut out by manual cops sourcing code. Yeah. I... Um, I, I think, you know, there's definitely, like, talking, I mean, there's nothing wrong. I think, I, I think at this point, like, the business ethics is unquestioned, right? It's the same thing, like, how can you stop somebody from buying the whole real estate in in this certain city that eventually, come time, it's just going to go up and he could, you know, mark it up 1,000% on his initial investment, right? So it's that monopolization law that, they tried to go after Amazon for buying all these businesses. It's, it's sad to say, you know, we're in a capital capitalistic country, so it's really hard to stop this kind of things. And that's the thing that was like a lot of the comments I was seeing on there was like, the key difference here is that these are things that people want, not things that people need. Right. Like, that nobody is- needs a PS5. Nobody yeah. needs... <laughs> Sneakers. Like, patent one bread Jordan ones right. that are coming it's out. Like, like, yeah, somebody's hoarding, like, milk or egg or something <laughs> like that, right? Like, or or bread, right? Like, <laughs> like that's, that's really where it's at, right? Like, I think all of this stuff are just extra. And I feel like that's the cool thing about you know america is like there's so much extra that people can there's so much leeway in this kind of i would say industry 
Yeah, their example, I think, was like, yeah, the politicians or something were saying, like, during a time like this, you know, during pandemic and what we're doing, like, <laughs> families don't need to be fighting over, you know, each other or fighting to get certain products for their kids for Christmas and things like yeah. that. And I'm like, but nobody needs this stuff. Like, yeah. if you want it, then... Yeah. Pay for you're it. gonna have to pay up or <laughs> maybe you're also just buying into the hype maybe yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> you're just like yeah i mean a ps5 yeah oh no it's let me see what <laughs> let's see what the chat says adrian what up says i got sprouts the other day there we go uh ban oh ban bot doesn't affect me activate hustle mode the value of the sneaker will not change. Whoever gets bought it or not is going to look at a sneaker as profit. StockX is not going to going away anytime soon. Um, third party sellers, obviously, Amazon and eBay thrive on third party sellers. Like right. that's what they want. That's what they need. So of course, they don't want anything like that to happen. Mile high hustle. Nike just needs to start selling shoes on the blockchain. And take their cut on all of the downstream sales. Reselling can flourish like never before. Man, Mile High is advanced. Oh, yeah. right <laughs> Black blockchain. Yeah. Crypto. <laughs> uh, let me see, man. Did they watch Jingle all the way before that discussion? <laughs> uh, I have three stock. There you go. PS5, Beyond 76. Uh, all they have to do is consider bots the same as hacking. And there you go. Uh, someone had a good point talking about the ticket sales, which was in 2016. That that one did go through. I remember that. Um, where was that comment? And who said it? Uh, Big Money Mo, I think, agreed on it. I forgot where it went. But yeah, someone had brought that up with the, with the ticket. So. Um, I don't know. Curious to see where we go from there um, and see what happens here. But I don't know if and when this is supposed to go through. Another thing that was supposed or that they're trying to have go through is uh, IRS. As they're trying to double the size of IRS by hiring nearly 87,000 new workers. Um, some people are saying too, like, don't get fooled by this as, um, IRS enforcement won't be borne by the rich and large corporations. They re-employ accountants and lawyers to protect them from the agency. Instead, middle-class family, small businesses will be targeted, especially self-employed people, cash heavy businesses like restaurants, retailers, and barbershops. <laughs> Uh, well, this this already kind of leads on to like too legit. We talked today about you know the whole six hundred dollar thing. Like right, that's right. a huge difference from twenty thousand dollars to six hundred dollars, and that's going to start already in thirty days. Why right? it starts the first of the month, uh -huh. uh, January first. Cash app. Imagine six hundred dollars cash app. They're going to get taxed. On every single thing that's over six hundred dollars that's coming through, it's like it already puts you in a totally different thing. What what's gonna happen now? And I can see this happening as far as especially like sneaker resellers when it comes to going to sneaker cons, right, right, going to all these things. That's that's money that I could see Uncle Sam wanting to figure out what's going on here. Yeah. Um, how does the chat feel? <laughs> um, that's that's so weird because that cash heavy thing, right? Like they're still focusing on that, but at the same time they're going after the online sales, right? Yeah. Because that's two different scenarios, right? So like, what are they gonna do? Like they're gonna watch like that. Somebody said like they're gonna watch parking lot deals, sneaker deals now. Or something like that, right? <laughs> Even on our last sneaker con, when we were there, they gave us a tax form. Yeah. To declare how much we sold. Like, you guys are a clown. We didn't <laughs> none of that. <laughs> you know? What was that about? <laughs> um, so that is so, um, I don't know. I don't know where, where we're trying to go with this one. But, you know, I think as long as you don't 
evade multiple billions or millions, I think we're good. <laughs> uh, well, I feel like if you did make that much, then you'd just be hiring an attorney to fight whatever yeah, I'm going to come in anyway. Really, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's – and, you know, we'd be moving – we'd be all moving to Texas. <laughs> Uh, let me go back. So the chat, interesting comments, um, which I do uh, see Josh Leva, just pay your taxes. Don't mess with Uncle Sam, which I completely agree. Yeah. Pay your taxes. Don't mess around. The thing is, is that I, the audit part is that people are like, what was it? Uh, Price Assassin said he's been yeah. audited how many times already? But the thing yeah. is, if you have, you know, a nine to five and let's just put it this way, anything that's a W9 <laughs> I think that it's going to it's going to show special attention to especially if there's 87,000 new agents. Right. I mean W9 period should already be like, okay, well, do they know everything that they're doing and what kind of, you know, tax cuts or what what are they doing here? <laughs> yeah. Let me let me go I, back up on here. I don't know what what happened with trying to go after all this um small business while they all give away all this tax breaks to multi-billion company. Oh, for you sure. Know, I was like, like, you know, like if I was, you know, if I had to sit down with them, it's like, look, what are you trying to accomplish with hiring these 87,000 people? What are you trying to recover? If you're saying these small business owners are getting by and by not paying their taxes, what is this number? A hundred billion? Okay, so 100 billion you're trying to claim. Well, just go knock at Jeff Bezos and all those giant people. Like, hey, I'm kind of short of 100 billion. Can you guys divide this up with all you guys up there? Because I'm pretty sure it's all the tax break they've been giving themselves. I say themselves because it's whoever these politicians are being supported by, by these major companies that they're trying to feel like they have to recoup from down here. I think that's what it is. Uh, Yarzlov, they're, uh, they're going to start auditing small businesses. That's what they're going to start. Uh, that's what they're going to do. Sneaker reseller, small business. So it'd be in that too. Well, I just think that the small business part has always been part of the target in all of this, because we've always had the conversations of like, why did, Walmart, Target, and Home Depot and Lowe's get to stay yeah. open during the time we're on lockdown. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. yet you'd have to show special treatment on why your small business has to stay open or can stay open unless you're doing something for medical field or something that you know, showing showing documentation that you're legit supposed to stay open, but yet these big corporations get to stay open and do all of that. So of course there's always been a back and forth. So I feel like, yeah, I mean, there's definitely small business going to take more of a hit than anything. Um, what does the chat say about that? Let me see. So no more sneaker con cash out vids, <laughs> Patrick. Uh, let me go back. Uh, trying to get back the stimmy money, which, like we said, too, no one's going to give you free money for doing nothing. Like, yep. Something had to go down. All right, let's um, move on. Look okay. at we're trying to I'm I'm getting nervous talking okay, about Okay, he's getting that. nervous. Okay, now we're on to this news. Uh with uh, one sneaker store with major cancellations before a holiday. And the thing is, I don't know what store this is. I don't know where this Did news came from. Did we find out from. somebody leak out who this is from? Whose store is this? I don't think they ever said. Huh. <laughs> um that's a thing that was like because and then it got kind of blown out of proportion again, just like the last two articles that we've been reading, as far as like, man, the Foot Locker's not even going to get Nike stuff anymore. Like, uh, Finish Line and Hibbit Sports and everything from Nike is only going to be on Nike's website and nothing else. No one's going to have any inventory. I'm like, how did this, how did you get that from this? Um right. Nike, we already talked about, has already cut so many other yeah. stores. And with the supply chain issues, which we've been talking about this whole year, I don't think this is anything really new again. I, I don't think 
There, I don't think there's anything shocking here. Are you shocked by anything on this? Uh, no. I, you know, like initially, uh, initially my reaction was like, man, poor store. You know, because, because, you know, I'm assuming that if you have a Nike account, that, that is a big part of your sales, right? Um, but I think ultimately, if you look at it in the bigger picture, Nike's going to take care of their bigger accounts. So that's why I kind of assumed that this was a smaller business or a smaller account that they have had to cancel the smaller ones to be able to fulfill orders for the bigger ones, kind of like your full lockers and finish yeah. lines and stuff like that. Um, overall, if, you know, like, because we truly don't know how, you know, we know there's a supply issue, but we just truly don't know what percentage that is, right? Mm-hmm. If they're if they're behind of, you know, or if, you know, as far as friends would concern, because these guys don't, these guys don't react on the day. They, they predict right so this is knowing that they have a shortage upcoming or of what said fulfillment or what commitment that they have already right for example full locker orders a thousand pairs right and then there's only you know and then all the small business gets a thousand to combine and then nike is only gonna have a thousand obviously they're gonna <laughs> forego the other thousand of the smaller accounts and put their thousand the big one and stuff like that so i think at the end of the day is you know i feel like it's honoring contracts and i think it's sad to say this that it's really not trying to pick a fight on another bigger uh company right mm-hmm. imagine if nike does this to a foot locker it's gonna be a fight it's gonna be a fight yeah right it's gonna be a battle but if nike does this to a smaller account Sorry, it's cutthroat business. So well, again, things it's like things like a uh, finish line and Foot Locker, they have Nike exclusives too. So it's kind of like exclusive shoes. Yeah. So I mean, it still makes sense to have them, of course, in this whole mix. Big Money Mo Instagram was saying all stores will get canceled, which is pretty much what happened. Is like, uh-huh. dude, there's no Nike at all next year, and like it just went out of control. Mile mm-hmm. High Hustle, difference between Nike Futures and At Once Orders. I don't feel like I have all the information needed to know what this email means, which I also agree. I feel like, yeah, this is, we already know there's a short, shortage, but other than that, what else is going on here? I don't know. Yeah, but but yeah, and, and this is something that I, ha- this is not the first time I've seen this happen. Um, there's been multiple times even way back then that this happens. I mean, not not on COVID issue, but on supply issue or moving on with focusing to a different. And I think this could be, see, because there's a scenario too to that, that, you know, like COVID kind of like was a ticket for other people to cut ties with other, uh, mm. uh, with other companies. So it could be it. It's a valid excuse, but, but, can Nike do something about it? I think they can, if they truly, truly valued this account. I mean, there's really no kind of like solution presented, right? It's literally a dead end. This email was <laughs> a dead end, right? Like we'll contact your, you know, contact your agent or your local partner or something like that. But there's not like we'll we'll double your supply come, you know summer collection or something like that there's nothing um sa nike is manipulating the situation and taking advantage here's a question i have for the chat so what about so many b grades that have been hitting the outlets why what is your theory or why do you think like uh why oreo fours or um what was another one 11 lows that were b grades carmines we already know but yeah oh I I think I think that that has to happen that they have to stock, you know, this bigger outlets with B grades because they don't have any other um markdown shoes mm. supply. Uh which I think B grades is kind of like you know, for the longest time B grades was like a sprinkle of kind of like topping, you know, like it would be it's a cherry on top if you go to an outlet. So I think, you know, like for the 
for the longest time, I've always believed that B grade shoes are kind of like if you keep going to an outlet, you hit a B grade. So it's kind of like it's a marketing tool, mm-hmm. and it's one way of them getting rid of a B grade item uh, that kind of like forces people to go to the outlet. Uh, but now it seemed like it, it became a staple, right? Like it was part of their inventory, and and I don't know if if the strategy before was they warehouse the B grade and slowly release them because keep in mind they still have Jordan 11s that they're uh that are that they're slowly putting out i mean i have i literally have a Jordan 11 here that's a B grade but it's not stamped as B grade mm. it definitely has a flaw so i don't know what that process is is was it did they have to send all their B grades in the states or was it because you have to think, factories are out of the state, you know, is is not here. Yeah. So was this caught there and they have to ship it here? Or was it a B grade that that a certain shoe did just did pass inspection that they want to make money off? Let's see, right? I think it's a combination of these two comments. So Price Assassins, they were uh-huh. headed for the shredder and they didn't have anything else to sell. And then AK Rowdy says, so Nike can still get retail for the B grades. I agree. So it's a combination of both of those. And I then either way. I 100% agree. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I guess, yeah, the, all the B grades. Not only that, the B grades are still like one per customer. and Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, it's not like they're trying to get rid of the B grade fast. Yeah, exactly. No, they're not. Yeah. That's too legit. Nike lowered the bar for quality control at just a hair. <laughs> 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 oh, man um is that it for this one? Oh yeah our last piece of news that you sent me oh, uh yeah. ebay acquires a sneaker authentication business from partner sneaker con digital Woo-hoo. so ebay is doing more to double and triple down on their sneaker sales and so they will not be doing anything with like sneaker con as far as like that type of events and things like that. It's just, this is only have to do with authentication. And um, I guess seems to be everything's going well. The eBay keeps trying to branch yeah, out. As long as I they mean, keep that zero fees, we're all no, in. I mean, when I saw this, I'm smiling. That means they're all in on this on this authentication and sneaker uh, thing, right? I mean, if you look at the article more, um, it shows their growth uh, on the sneaker uh, you know, category and and it's not like they've stopped. I mean, they've obviously been trying to go to events, getting influencers there for eBay sneakers and stuff like that. So, so you know, I'm all for it because we're in this category. And, and you know, kudos to eBay for shifting fast, right? We, we, this happened within the last, what, two years uh, during a pandemic. So, so <clears throat> I'll take it. There we go. SneakerCon closes the app too, says M. Palma um let me see so i think oh, ebay is trash they banned me for using an online bank i'm a top rated seller that's weird austin what did they say when you called them to see <coughs> yeah anything else going on um i think yeah definitely a good sign hopefully they keep the zero fees but like we said too they'll be taking a lot which they already have but taking a lot of money from StockX and go especially yeah. StockX because their yeah. their processing fees are ridiculous for a seller and a buyer i mean we talked about that before it's just yeah there was some dunks on there that the wife was liking they were like one i think they're like 140 and then after the fees and the shipping stuff it came out to like 190 something <laughs> and i'm like there's no way right you get pay that. 50 bucks more and right? and as long as you're competitive on ebay and you're still slightly less than StockX and Goat. You're you're a good seller, and they have authentication. Um, you'll get the sale. Like if they really want that shoe, and you're not you're you know paying the fees. So it's a win win all around. But the that right. that that fee part is critical. <laughs> right. So well, we've we've survived through the fees, and we're try we're thriving without fees and. We can we can handle ten percent, if if forced to do so, if needed. Yeah, but if needed. Rather but, not. <laughs> right, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, let's you know take advantage of what's presented, and and let's pivot when 
things change. Uh, let me see. Authentication. Sneaker pickers just received a message about sneaker being rejected by eBay. The reason they sent me a reason unknown. Yeah, that's that's something that we'll have to sit down with them. All right. <laughs> reason <laughs> unknown. I, I've had two, Glenn. I've had what? Two. You did yeah. two? Yeah, I've had two. Um, one was supposed to be worn, and I got this. It wasn't even worn, and then I sold it again, so it's going there again. So we'll see. <laughs> Whoa, uh, reason unknown. Uh, one one said um one said that it had a stain and my me and my wife are stickler about quality, so we we'll <laughs> definitely should have caught that. But um that is definitely uh um something that we'll have to bring up and and trust me guys, you know we're trying to get a hold of people and we're in a hold of people that we have uh con contacted already that ultimately we're just trying to make the platform better for all of us um, yeah. but um that's that's pretty much uh what we're trying to get to because I, I think i like the goat you know it has a reasoning and it has a photo True. i think that's one of the features that they have to adapt to kind of like give us more confidence that you know because a lot of times we won't admit we're wrong all the time right like yeah. i'm always right but we're but, the seller, like, of course we're right. Yeah, uh, we're always right. We don't make mistakes, Glenn. Come on now, right? So so I think that's one of the things that that if they could add that in as a factor, I think I'd be more like, okay, that was my bad, my bad, right? Like my bad, you know, we know how to say my bad, but but if there's no reason like oh scam, scam, you know, <laughs> trying to rip me off or something like that. But but at, at least at least we're not at least you know we're not losing packages uh so at least it's getting returned so we're good with that uh sticker for the fun says man b is ebay corporate now <laughs> trying we're trying we're trying b, to move b is trying to give the power to the people to the seller yeah yeah that's what we're trying to do that's what we, we want to see more power yeah. to the seller less power to the buyer <laughs> <laughs> yeah buy this space whatever we ask that's what we want <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into weekend releases. Uh, I don't know why I started off with this one. This oh, why in the world? I know. I mean, <laughs> what is going on here? It looks like, like a, toilet water. Uh, I thought we were done with trying to oversell Air Force One. Yeah, they're pulling all the stops now. Swarovski Air Force One low. But it's got like a Venom symbiote growing thing on on here that i don't even know what this is and for 450 of course because of the uh crystals but <laughs> still yikes uh, a bunch of plastic i know you, you notice the plastic more than any of these little crystals in here uh 228 28 individual uh let me see definitely getting those at burlington in two years uh 450 trash Designers at Nike and some shrooms. Um, let me see. Good thing you started out with sales. I know this is, you know what? Let's skip this one. Let's go to the next one. Uh, so what did we think? Fire? Rock'em? So at uh, first, I thought they were smooth suede leather. Mm -hmm. But they're like. It's rough? Crack, crack leather. Mm. so that's when i kind of like um but you know it's i think this shoe is you know like you buy the story more than the shoe mm. um but i didn't feel about that way when i bought the jordan 3 mm. which i truly like the design and the color and the quality for it but this one is like i i kind of like feel with most of what the twitter was uh was giving a feedback on when they got the shoe a lot of them was like oh you know like i i, I like what they're doing but not not um you know they, they're not liking the the execution of it which you know we can always disagree which is the you know beauty of a free country or something like that <laughs> um but i think a lot of people are liking it just because it's unique so hustle and muscle what up yeah. Like the top four awesome quality. Mm. Um, JCG says, I want that. Very nice. Like my wife yeah, always right. says, not tonight. Uh, 
<laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> Burgundy snake skin on the collar and the swoosh. Satin sock liner. Uh, everybody else says fire. I think people not bad. Outlet bound SA. Oh. Just not feeling them at all. Uh, pass. Fire. Josh Leva says fire. My pair already came in. So uh, let me see. Rock'em. And color is different. Not bad. It's a little mix. 200 bucks on Friday. Next. Yeezy. Oh, uh, Amber Tint, 250 Of course, Kanye's basketball sneaker. Uh, has anybody ever worn these to ever play in basketball? That's the question. Uh, pass, pass. Uh, swaggy P. <laughs> <laughs> swaggy P. Uh, 250 comes out on Friday. And not only that, more easy, too. See? This one's this one's cool. <laughs> yeah, right. you'd rock this. No, I won't. I can't rock. Well, the only thing is, yeah, I might I might rock this because it's uh it doesn't have a branding to it. <laughs> it doesn't have Adidas. Oh, it doesn't have any three stripes anywhere that you yeah, can see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Two hundred bucks on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I can Pass. I can rock this when I'm like clearing snow or something, shoveling snow or something. <laughs> Trash, uh, trash, dookie, man, more trash comments, pass and pass. Oh, Gore-Tex. Yeah, now see, this photo is deceiving because that's supposed yeah. to be green or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah, it's a little bit, you can kind of, maybe it's because also yeah. in the live, it comes out a little different uh, shade, uh, Yeah, but 200 bucks. Waterproof Gore Tex materials. No. Yeah. So uh the tongue to keep your feet dry. Gore Tex logo stamped and lateral heel. Black, gray, and dark green. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where did they get this? Like like man. Uh research that's coming wish... up today here. Dude, I mean if I was like Jordan's son or Jordan's grandson, I'd be like Grandpa, you gotta say something about this design <laughs> or this, at least the colors. This is the least of some of the Jordan problems, huh? I would say you this think? is the least. Oh. Look how many other random Jordans are out there. Well, true, but I'm like, Grandpa, they're missing the shoe that you wore, <laughs> you know, like at least keep the one to 13, you know holy or something <laughs> but would you would you rock these though figuring you're, you're gonna get snow soon bro they're i would but they're not hype looking enough you know oh, that... <laughs> <laughs> they're not high they're not high gonna rock these. You know, if they were like shattered backboards or you know uh unc looking i probably would rock this in the snow <laughs> but but again oh. right like it's not hype looking. I mean, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna de de destroy the colorway or destroy the color blocking, at least make it hype looking. It doesn't matter about hype. It's supposed to keep your feet dry. I guess. I guess. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's get into. Uh, we didn't have a show last week, so we didn't have any rankings last week. So today, here we go. we're gonna start with Burlington. Half a star. <laughs> Um, who doesn't even go to Burlington anymore? That should be the real question for the chat. Anybody just skipping Burlington in your route? Burlington, when things start hitting and you know heating up, I'll eventually make my rounds. Who's who's at that case now? Uh, we have Me. Iversons, Price Assassins, and Sally Port selling 70 bucks, uh, 45 on the Candyland, but MC Incorporated. $30, Averex coat, sold for $320 on that leather bomber jacket. Dude, that one, I I was I was, uh, I was in Burlington, uh, but for a different reason, buying toys for our Christmas giveaways. But I was low-key looking for the high-end jacket because <laughs> I've seen it, you know. And, I mean, what are the odds, right? 
you find a you know two thousand dollar jacket for thirty bucks or something like that. I wish I hadn't gone to Burlington yesterday. <laughs> Too legit. <laughs> uh, been skipping it. Um, <laughs> hey, I, I I go to Burlington when I have to pee. When you gotta pee and the wife gotta pee, especially the new ones, you know. And Marshall's, you, you gotta stop by bro. Yeah, Marshall. No, even the newer Burlington are better now. Mm. So maybe some B bathroom reviews. No. Uh, t- <laughs> <laughs> TJ Maxx on fire. Uh, let me see. Oh, for the Whoa. snacks, too legit. Uh, next, Marshall's TJ Maxx. I just combined them. Ten dollars. Reebok NFL. This is from that old stock <laughs> that they've been finding from uh, two thousand. What was it? From eight the or warehouse that they 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 forgot that they owned. Yeah, two thousand eight. Uh, Reebok NFL ten dollars on the pullovers, and then we also got the four uh, D running the seventy bucks Marshall's complete with box, and yeah, definitely. When does they say? When was the last time we found this at Marshall's? So something out there doesn't have a swoosh on it, uh, but seventy bucks. Then. At TJ Maxx, oh, they had a Robert Graham shirt. This one is a Marvel Spider Man retail for three something. Land. Interesting. Uh, oh, Budweiser there, starter Spider-Man jackets in the middle. I didn't even what know that? that. There's like a Spider Man thing in yeah, the middle. Spider-Man. Huh? Yeah, I can barely see them. It's oh. kind of like a black on black. I got like the yeah. blue on the shoulders. Budweiser starter jackets at 50 and more champion uh, Super Mario chai sneaker deals. Apparently they do well. Yeah, they do. They do well. I think this white one does better than the purple one, I believe. No Uh, Laker effect there. No Laker effect. (laughs) Not right now. Or maybe some Phoenix uh, effect right there. Dude beat my Warriors, you know, 17 straight. Come on now. I know. Playing good. Mile high. They are playing good. Mile high winning. Uh, Paid 40 for the Spider-Man. Retails of 600. Man. Oh. Uh, Let me see. I like that starter jacket. I found blank Nets jerseys at Marshalls last week. Ten of them. From that old stock. Burlington has the best bathrooms. Josh Leva. Uh, Let me see. I'm still selling those Bengals jerseys. Price Assassins. Rewalk uh, again, yeah, that's because they're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> Warriors, ironic name, Mile High Hustle. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, shame. <laughs> that's not like a Steph Gray had a bad game, oh, of course. No, all right, on to Ross. Man, look at that death row records <laughs> for the holidays. <laughs> Man, <laughs> they got the green every right? day. Well, they, got the green. they got the green, right? Oh, uh, we got plenty of green, baby. Smoke weed every day. We got to keep that sound bite from here on out. <laughs> um, Death Row Records, I don't even think I've even seen this out there at Ross, but they're bringing the heat. They're rare, Glenn. They're rare. <laughs> Suge Knight approves. That is the most Ross find ever. Hustle Crow. <laughs> Fire. Wear that to Christmas. Hell yeah. Yeah, uh, you, you smell like foot action. <laughs> a long beach? Let me see. Where's Suge at? <laughs> Best sound bite so far. Um, how much was it, though? What does it say? Oh, 25 bucks. Glenn, you don't ask for a price for a sweater that nice. That's true. Yeah, it should be $4.20. How about that? Yeah. Smoke weed matter. every day. It don't matter. <laughs> Uh, let me see, skunk. <laughs> uh, where should I go? Where's that? Skunk. <laughs> this is a funny story. <laughs> so, Price Assassin's daughter <laughs> walked into a foot action with them, and you know, that smell. Some dudes walk in there, Price Assassin's daughter, Dad, what does it smell like? A skunk. <laughs> <laughs> Said it out loud. <laughs> oh man, it's that skunky. It's that good stuff. Yeah. One, oh, one more time. Retrospective gear. Smoke weed every day. All right. Well, 
Next. Uh, Gucci glasses, Brian, out here. I don't know the I'm price. I'm not going to lie. I bought some Gucci glasses at Ross. Oh, yeah. Wait, 160 for the Gucci oh, glasses. Oh, not that much. I don't think I only paid 79 for it. <laughs> uh, the double swoosh jackets. Those are dope. We got a yellow and black one, or maybe like a volt green. I don't know. Chasky resells. And then we got the black and white one. KS reselling. And double swoosh black button up jacket. Brian again. Some of yesterday's grabs. Uh, let me see. Gucci gang. <laughs> what the? I am lazy. I am lazy. Um, let me see. Y'all still go to stores? Yes, sir. Eric D. Sometimes, like Mile High says, sometimes. Um, next, Bam Twenty Four Kicks. Uh, up flipping. Richard Mile High Hustle. Some of the polo jackets. Uh, this one a little Tin Man like, a little foil like. Yep. Uh, the polo jackets right here, Richard, and a couple of them here, Mile High. Uh, let me see. Double swords are nice. Have a few. There we go. And Palma. All right. Some baseball out there. Twins, Rockies, Funky Finds, Chai Sticker Deals, Flipping for Funds. Oh, um, like the Day of the Dead or something. Yeah, like Day of the Dead, uh, Dodgers, and this one sells pretty good money. Oh. So Chai Sticker Deals, very nice. Pretty distinct. Yeah. Uh, that one's pretty dope. Next. Uh, Monstars shorts, super random. Derby City flip. What size? Like four XL. Uh, I think it's a large. I got that red oh, tag. Men's oh, large. Yeah, that is a red. That's large. Yeah. Uh, Wind Horse Radio Kid Junior says, "Careful with the Tyra Williams Elite jerseys." Now remember, this is a three twenty five retail. Oh. He said, uh, eBay pulled my listing because NFL, the NFL complained that it was counterfeit. What? That's weird. I'm going to have to have a conversation with the NFL then. And eBay, both. You know what? Both. Same meeting anyway. Yeah, I'm going to the same meeting with the sneakers. Meeting. Yeah. We'll do that. Uh, let me see. He's a free agent now? Yeah, I believe he is. Everyone is now a Tyrell Williams fan. Um, so many of those Williams jerseys heard they getting some Vero too. So I wonder, yeah. wonder why. Uh, that's super weird. Because um, people can definitely do a customizer, do something for three the three twenty five retail. People love those. The yeah, put oh, your them. last name in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do something in that one. <clears throat> um, was the NFL on the title? Interesting. I don't know. Huh. I don't want to know why, but right. we'll see if anybody else that has any other issues. Right. Um, Bridgewater, Edelman, Jones, a lot of Edelmans out there. Yep. But, of course, the difference between the game, the limited, and the elite. So there's three different kinds. Um, the non-sewn, which is the game, which is Richard right here. The limited, which is Mile High Hustle, these right here. Um, the weird thing is they're pricing the non-sewn at 45 but yet you know? the limited is at $50. $5 more oh, doesn't make wow. any sense. And huh. those retail at $150. So, right. Um, I think Mile High said that I think one of the sensors was just like eating through the jersey in one of them. Oh. I don't know why they still do that, too. Right. Uh, let me see. eBay cracking down on team jerseys. Interesting. Hmm. Um. See. Yeah, activate awesome mode said just list it with a Ross tag and blame Ross. <laughs> <laughs> uh let me see. Got Edelman's and I get outlet 29, regular price 200. Nice. Oh, that's good nice buy. finds. There we go. Um, more Edelman's, uh, real deal thrifter, a little this and that. Sneakers unite Gretzky sewn. Uh, this one isn't a Adidas, I believe. Um, I've not seen this one out there. And we know this is recent because it has these dog toys, which Ross has had these recently. Oh, so, the uh, Christmas dog toys? Yeah, the Christmas stuff. So we know this is a recent photo. But the Gretzky one is dope for LA Kings. 
Interesting. Uh, Gretzky insane sneaker flip find. Nice. Um, staying away from jerseys for a little bit because of eBay. Eric D. Um, holiday hours for Ross. Yeah, those poor workers, man. People right now are buying. We always make fun of the towels and the mirrors, slippers, random stuff. Like just like throw everything in the cart and we'll just buy everything. Um, it's wild. I mean, we've talked about on our Monday show about being smart with money. That's not the case right now. They're just buying whatever. Uh, right by the dog treats. Uh, sell jerseys on Mercari. S-A. Next. And we got a couple of Drew Brees. Mile high again. Um, definitely the Sewn, the Limited, Drew Brees. I think those are dope. Definitely, uh, I would say, worth picking up. Chai Sneaker Deals, they did have uh, Lamar Jackson and they had Aaron Rodgers. Uh, salute to Service. T definitely like a different feel to them. Uh, retail on it, what, 170 And I think they were still 49 or 59 I believe, unless anybody else had seen them in the chat. Uh, Bree's jersey was damaged also. Man, it's a deal. Come on, Ross. Take it easy with those sensors. A uh, lady in front of me had a bunch of random clothes. They didn't take any off the hangers. Only one cashier. <laughs> that's like the... <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's brutal. I would have offered like, hey, uh, can I take those hangers out before you check out? <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, those never reached my area. Yeah, I hadn't seen any of these salute to service, but uh, there's a couple of Bengals in there too. Bears. I don't know what else is going on. Uh, next. Don Affleet, of course, had to find the 325 retail Edelman. Oh, he had to. <laughs> yeah, had we to. don't want the regular Edelmans. We need no. the real deal Edelman. Yep. Um, 59, the price on it. So... But weird thing, I don't know why he censored the size. No. Must of be silence. Like double extra small. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a win-win uh, regardless of size. I mean, it's a 325 oh, retail. Yeah, it's I, an think, Edelman. I think he's just doing that so that nobody will find his listing. And oh, him. interesting. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Uh, let me see. None of those 325s. Uh, let's see. Went, salute to service. William, salute to service. Some Ross have self-checkout. Interesting. Uh, not ours, but I wish they did. Youth size. I don't think they make youth for the 325 retail. <laughs> <Youth> <laughs> Are they in men's? I believe so. He doesn't want people finding them on eBay. So there we go. Big Money Mall has the same, same theory as you. A lot of conspiracy theories on this <laughs> welcome back show. <laughs> Come on now. All right, on to Nike. Speaking of B grades, one per customer had my wife with me. Sneaker flip find Saturday oh. morning. Some of the heat and Oreo fours. So B grade. Yes. Next, A train hustle and maximum 2300. Uh, a lot of cleats starting to show up. Silver boxes. We like to see. Also got uh, KDs, um, super flies, and looks like some Vapor Max in here. Two seventies, Jordan ones, uh, the fives. So a nice little mix. And maximum twenty three hundred. Super flies as well, selling for about two hundred. It's been a while since some good, some good cleats. Uh, nice three stars yes they're somewhat heating up well depends some outlets are getting some crazy stuff like yeah it's it's definitely certain outlets only <laughs> well not this because my outlet is like richard's where we have a bunch yeah, of yeah. tune squad stuff that like no that's what as you put up the video i went to my outlet and that's all they have to <laughs> yeah I was like man we're all this tune squad stuff and they're it's, just it's, like it's it's called the lebron effect <laughs> of course everything yeah. is gross trash <laughs> would you rock one of the jerseys no heck no what about the I'll shorts be. at least 
No. <laughs> Dude, the quality is even trash. It's like an old, it's like the old, like silky jersey. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want that. We want the the thick, heavy, just done like stuff. Oh, interesting. You know? Yuck, Toon Squad. Um, I only stay at two star hotels, so we're in high roller territory now. My, my. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my outlet has nothing, no sales. We're going to get into outlet stuff because B had an interesting story on in his outlets and the money making that they're up to. No. Uh, two 70s, and we also got the Jordan Cleats, Sneaker Flip Find. See, then we find stuff like this Big Money yeah. Mo, Mr. Steal Your Stock, and Sourcing Code, Union, yeah. Stussy stuff out here. It's like s- short sleeve at. And we got the uh, beanies. They're selling for like 80 bucks. See, this is the stuff that is probably just too high end for my outlet, probably. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Uh, eBay Poshman, what up? So, like, uh, El Paso, mm, this is too nah. much for them. So, interesting stuff. Couldn't help but notice seeing a cook groups recently target Jordan 1 mids and lows. Where is Jake? <laughs> Um, <laughs> let me see what up, everyone. Ebay Poshman, uh, Toon Squad jersey 20 bucks at my outlet. Whoa, um, see warm up jerseys. Nike has no sales now or in the future. I went for Black Friday and wasted my time. They uh, and they opened an hour later than the other stores. <laughs> Brian, that sounds like El Paso, like. I'll do the, I think they're doing that whenever they have ordinary short staff or something like that. Mm, okay. I know mine does. Either they shut down an hour early or open an hour late. Mm. Yeah. This is a dope shirt though. Next. Uh Richard. Uh the tiny dunk. Still 50 bucks. Retail 65. They had a bunch of them there. Also, I got the Jubilees in grade school. Uh they are at retail. Looks like a bunch of six Y. Um, loaded up there in the back, and then a big money mo. Nice little weekend picking up some twelves. Yep. And yep. Astro kicks. How do you find this much heat? Uh, let me see what the chat says. Uh, can't even find mids and lows in California. Brilliant dominant. Um, let me go back up and see. Uh, yeah, the beanie easy money sneaker flip find. Uh, I'm a mailman, 15 years plus amount of parcels this year. Uh, ridiculous. Ooh, Ross opening at 6 a.m. and closing at 2 a.m. in my area. <laughs> <Is that even? laughs> Those dunks are nice. Double up, yeah. Ross, they don't need to put themselves through that. That it's getting worse have, every year. They don't have they have loyal workers, Glenn. That's what we have. <laughs> Poor guys. Power rankings. Uh three, two, one, half. Burlington. Trash. You don't have yeah, try. You don't gotta go to Burlington anymore if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. Ross at this point is kind of more jersey, I would think. Yep. Um Marshall's random Mario champion stuff. Um and the Nike outlet. Depends, I guess, where you're at because it's location. if it's not Toon Squad, then it's Union Jordan Jackets. I mean, <laughs> or it's like a hit or miss at this point. Or B grades, right? <laughs> or B grades. That's also true. Uh, so what happened with – what was the outlet that you were telling me about? Yeah, our Nike outlet that's closest to me ranked third in the country for sales. Um, if I'm not mistaken, about – Two hundred seventy thousand dollars in sales in one day, Black Friday. One, one day. Here's the thing that I was that I was saying. I was like, that's a good and a bad thing because, uh, well, it's <laughs> it's bad. It's bad because they also well, know it's bad because uh, it's Cincinnati and we don't get crap and they still sell. <laughs> that's bad. That's exactly. Bad. The, they don't have to run sales. They can offer B grades. And they're still getting top dollar. So why run any sales going forward? You're right. Like their most expensive stuff there is $150 Air Max 2019. (laughs) 
wild. I don't know who was number one, but um, yeah, they all celebrated because they got top three. And being in a small market, that was a feat for them. Yeah, my Nike had uh, let's see, grade school taxi twelves. I guess the um, what was that one called? It has like a little bit of gold on there. Some of those have been sitting too at some of the the malls. Um, let me see who bought all the backpacks. Price assassins that flood the the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So I went. Well, I went back post Black Friday. I mean, when was this Monday? Uh, they're down another aisle. <laughs> Man, yeah. um, but they've been running. I mean, their Nike site though a lot of sales. Um, Cyber yeah, Monday, I feel like the as, whole I, thing. I feel like as a consumer, I think the Nike site is a better deal. And it ships you know? to you. Ship to you. Right. Not to worry Ship about to you, going anywhere else. Whatever. Yeah, and I, I feel like you know, cause like it's not like you know, like how we say that it everything's moving to e-commerce. And obviously, there's still people that wear that have flip phones and don't have touchscreen phones. So there's still going to be that you know high number of people that still want to do the brick and mortar and stuff like that. And you know, there's like you know, like I hear this fam, you know, I see posts in in Facebook, you know, just friends of friends, and they're like, it's their family tradition to go shopping mm. on Black Friday. So you know, it's it's the the brick and mortar is more somewhat like nostalgic or just a tradition now and then while they're at it they shop you know <laughs> uh they did have i mean they had some really good sales on nike.com for the people that are obviously sourcing getting stuff online mm-hmm. um different jackets different uh man those um was it like that ray guns vince carter jersey was like Twenty-one dollars or something. Yeah, it was like dirt cheap. Yeah, it was or twenty-seven like... on like East Bay or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that a lot of different different stuff. Um, do you guys go to the Nike clearance stores? So we don't have one, but we don't have one close to us. Yeah, uh, I think the closest one probably would be Phoenix. I think for us, yeah, you have one in Phoenix. Uh, my outlet traffic never slowed down. A big money mo. Uh, some of the other workers that I was talking to. Uh, Foot Locker, Foot Action Champs, they they thought that this Black Friday was the worst that they've ever seen. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Um, but only Brian and a couple of other ones would understand in the chat. Like, when I'm telling you guys, being in Border City, yeah. and once it opened up, every store is mayhem. Yeah, right now. I think like, a lot of it, too, is like if you think about, like, the business or the reselling factor of, like, crossing borders – it's probably at its all-time high because for the longest time, right, if they were smart, they just literally just hoarded the capital, and then now they have more capital to spend here and to bring back there. You know, I think that, and 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 I think that's just a result of the lockdown, that that now you're just seeing that big flood. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, look, it feels like a second wave yeah. of uh, an, an opening, right? Um, highest consumer spending ever this Black Friday. Some say big money mo. Mm-hmm. Um, anyone hit Uptown or Plato's on Black Friday? Interesting. Oh wow. Um, I know they did have some good stuff on certain uh, certain stores, certain areas. Uh, let me see. Good thing they go for designer brands. <laughs> yeah, they um, a lot of stuff for them. Like they buy up a lot of Puma. They buy up a lot of Guess. Mm-hmm. Um, what else they always buy? Um, most of those type of brands, I guess, they would yeah. they would buy all that stuff. Uh, let me see. I'm reselling shoes in Metaverse next year. <laughs> um, let me go back up and see. A lot of people's border crosser card expired. Browntown finds. How much inventory on Cool Gray 11? More than the past other 11s. I know yeah. this is like, yeah. like 1.3 million. Yeah. Well, it's it's been it's been going up every year. So went to Plato's forty percent up, but they didn't hold stuff, so not much to buy. Interesting. Um, getting a camera crew next year, big money mo. <laughs> uh, let me see. Jordan's dunks are still sitting. William Perry. Oh, Ireland, how many Italy. did you bring in? <laughs> Different market. Says brilliant dominance. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to talk about in the chat? 
Um, any other comments? Anything regarding selling, sourcing, game plan? We'll we'll do a live as far as game plan for next year. Right. Um, since a lot has changed, of course, in store, I think it's down to the thrift side, Play-Dohs and all of that, obviously still there. The outlet side, if your outlets are still fire, you're doing that. And then on the other side, we have the, uh, you know, the online sourcing. And then we have the, like, connections part. And I'm going to tell you right now what I like about all of this and what's going on is not having to depend on Ross and Burlington. Um, I haven't gone to Ross that much at all the last like three weeks. Um, also because of how crazy it is out there. Right. But um, Burlington, I haven't even gone. My outlet sucks, but I really like the connections that I've built outside of this to not have to rely on the stores. And, but it's interesting how that relates to content wise and things like that, because I obviously can't show anything. So that's kind of sucks, but um, I think it did kind of teach me a little bit more as far as like getting out of that, that whole thing of relying on, on the store. So um, I don't know. It's just, I think everyone's kind of, doing staying and figuring out their own thing mm -hmm. um let me go back up and see what the chat says um do you or b have any off-white uh i have off-white pipes that you're selling or keeping well i haven't listed it um oh. it's eventually for sale not not a fan it's the sale one it's like the white version um but hopefully i'll be able to trade it for i really want the vapor max off-white or the the bread for off-white so Look so i'm guy. holding that for a trade you know possible trade up you know i mean knowing that i paid you know uh retail for that but i think that's the only way i just want i mean especially now that he's gone now it's just more like I want to have at least a piece of of his art. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, let me go back up and see uh, what cook groups are you in? I'm in none. None. No um, cook groups. Follow me on Twitter. Ken the Hustle Bee. That's my cook group. Oh, so B's on Twitter. So there we go. Um, did anyone say the oh, what they gave their delivery people? <laughs> Well, some uh, people I've seen people uh, put like a cooler or something like that on hot it days and stuff like that, mm. like snacks, kind of like a snack box where they're delivery people. I've seen that, but I haven't done that here. Uh, let me see. Who are we? My son just quit his Ross job. My high hustle. Oh wow! Yeah, he needs to get a Nike job. Oh, Nike outlet. Get that swoosh account. Uh, bringing back out hustled. Uh, if we did, but here's the thing though: it's like the stores <laughs> have to be worth going to, and they haven't been. So, um, I guess we'd have to see how that kind of plays out for next year. I guess store wise or yeah. inventory wise, but uh, brilliant dominance. Why do you stop posting your sneaker wins? Because I haven't won. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't stopped. I just haven't won. But, <laughs> yo, why did we not talk about my Jordan 3 patchwork? Come on. You guys trolled me on that. And now look. They're flopping. <laughs> <laughs> They're flopping. But 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 I you know I want it to rock. I want it to uh I want it for uh daily for the daily. Mm. I I love threes for the daily. I rock my my Jordan three black cement so much. So are y'all still hitting on flex? Not as much. <laughs> <laughs> when I say much, really not as much. I'm laughing, but I'm, I'm crying inside. <laughs> uh, let me go back up and see. Man. That's why you haven't seen hotel backgrounds a lot. Very true. 
Uh, Patchwork, give me the AJ3 Animal Instinct vibes. Oh, well, I have the Animal Instinct. <laughs> the first one, so, yeah. Brilliant Dominance, no on Flex. There's no good Flex releases, Price Assassins. I'm um, taking more Ws on Flex, Mercurial Venom. Oh, how so. many accounts do you have? <laughs> um, all right. Uh, anything else before we go? Uh, good show. Almost an hour and a half in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, next month. So I'm saving. Next year. I'm saving. I'm saving my Ws on the cool great elevens and the bread, bread ones. Oh, saving put it that way. You know, I was like, I'm oh, right, cool. I'm not winning. I'll, you know, I'll win when it matters. <laughs> uh, my area, the Foot Locker and Champs employees straight told me to not get their size because I'll never win them. So I'm getting sizes that are not my, that yep. not my size. Good advice. Um, what other categories would y'all like to get into? South eBay Motors. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, well, you, like, you like car parts. stuff, so. Car parts. I want to get into used <laughs> car parts. Um, but that's in my back pocket. I think it's something that knowing the process of eBay now with what I do, I think would be an easy, uh, an easy transition because it's something that I like doing anyway. So, um, all right, I guess we're, we're done. Nothing else. A Friday. I don't know if we're going to be a video or not. I've been, uh, a video of Glenn shipping. Let's just do a live. I know. Shipping. Just do a video of shipping, yeah. shipping and talking and hanging out. I mean, because I've been, man, just trying to, I got to ship stuff right now. I've just been, I mean, it's a good problem, but content wise, it's very difficult to, to do both when things are definitely heating up. So we enjoy this time. This is what we live for. And uh, we'll see you guys Monday. We didn't, we didn't get to do one last Monday, but we'll be back for, for this Monday coming up. So. All right, we're done. We'll see you guys. Take care out there.